Hey everybody, Lana Scott Lighthouse. This is my, um, today is Saturday, so as promised, I am doing a healer's um, reading for incoming energies for this coming week, and I've already laid them out here for us, okay? I have the angel's candle going, I burned the incense earlier, and I got my pretty little box up here with some of my collection of rocks, okay? I have already rang the bell. So let's get to it. So for this coming week, we have reversed Fihu. So what that's telling me is that things are going to be a little bumpy for this coming week. Okay, for some of you. This is not going to resonate for all of you. Okay, things are going to be a little bit bumpy for some of you. The challenge is, is that you have people helping you or people that are around you. But because it's challenging, it's in the challenge position, it tells me that you know, even though there's other people around you, not all, not everybody's going to have your best interest at heart, okay? For your action, you, you, again, you've got, you've got man is reversed, and for man is reversed, man is just the ruin of mankind, okay? And that's the action it's telling you to take. Again, because you've got, you've got, um, Ewas in your, in your challenge position, Somebody is not going to have your best interest at heart. Somebody's going to be either jealous of you or they're not going to want you to move forward on your healing journey. Rather, it's healing yourself or you're wanting to put someone else first or someone's just jealous of you. Okay, they're not going to be really happy with that. All right. Stay true to yourself. To thine own self be true. Now, your sacrifice on this is reversed keenness, which means... Some friendship, or because of because of what we have before us, guys. Not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever. Okay, if you have a friend you've had for a long time, that's more like a friend of me than a friend. Or you've had um, a boyfriend or a girlfriend that, you know, every time you try to get ahead, they feel threatened by that. Maybe the friendship or the relationship, maybe it's just kind of time to. You know, move on for that or slowly move away from that because they're not going to be very happy about it, okay? They're going to want your undivided attention. They're going to want you to always drop everything for them. And you can't always do that when you're trying to do something for yourself, okay? So that's showing a closing. And the new situation, again, we've got, this is Anzu reverse. Nancy reverse means somebody wants the best for them. They don't want what is best for you. It can mean lies, trickery, deceit. So somebody may be trying to pull something behind the scenes that is detrimental to you, but good for them. If you know someone like that, I'm just letting you know, beware. Now, this could be in a situation in family, friend, work. It's not really clarifying that for me. So if there's somebody that you feel intuitively is more negative than positive and you just have that hinky feeling about them, maybe it's time to rethink that relationship. Okay, and then mind you, these readings are only for the coming week, so this isn't something that's going to be around forever, okay? Nothing is set in stone, guys. I tell y'all that all the time. Now, what you can't do nothing about, again, I think it's related to this person, is we have Perth. Now, Perth is the dice cup. It's the, it's the uh, things going forward into the future, right? That you're playing the game, um, that you're taking a chance, you're... Um, you are playing the game of, of life well, but it can also mean something hidden. So again, I think maybe you're doing the right thing, but because of this other person over here, okay, somebody not wanting your best interest at heart, maybe you ought to just um, keep your cards close to your chest. Don't let, don't let everybody know what you're doing. Don't tell everybody what you're doing. And me, I have a big mouth. I'm real bad about not doing that. But guys... If you're getting some new plans on things you want to do in the near soon future and you're waiting for everything to come about, just keep your cards close to your vest, okay? For all of you healers, if this resonates, okay? Now, what you don't see coming, I absolutely love this, guys. We have, to me, it's one of the greatest runes in the world. Someone will come to your aid that does have your back and does care about what's going to happen with you. That will be supportive. This is the rune of Gibu. It can mean partnership. It can mean love coming in. It can mean, um, it, it just means a gift or generosity. So someone, if you have a trying time, somebody that does have your best interest at heart, does care about what happens to you, is going to come in and they are going to help you in somehow, way, shape, or form. Okay? So 
Guys, this is what we have. We have a bumpy week ahead, but just be aware of the people around you and the situations. Um, and these readings are only meant to last a week. I'm going to do them every Saturday. And I think this rune reading overall is also calling you to learn to listen to your intuition more. Listen to what your angels and your spirit guides have to say, your ancestors and passed on loved ones. Okay? Use your discernment. Okay? Because your path forward in life or what you need to do to help other people help yourself doesn't isn't always going to include other people okay since some people when you decide what you want to do or how you're going to go forward those that i mean you will find you will find that people that are not not in that high vibrational energy anymore they are going to fall away not all of them you'll find some you know some family and friends and people that you work with, or depending on what kind of a situation this is, this could be home, work, like I said. So you will find some people that, I mean, they're going to rah, rah, rah the whole way that you're trying to go on your spiritual journey um, and listening to your, what, you know, your own energies are telling you, your spirit guides and angels, and how you're going forward in the future to help yourself and help other people. So you're going to have the rah, rah, rah group, and then you're going to have some people that are jealous that um because they're they're wanting you to feel they're they're wanting they're not wanting you to do good because it doesn't make because they can't they don't then they're not shining they don't want you to shine okay and people like i always say keep the lesson lose the toxicity so that is your message for this coming week um, this is the uh, Angel's Runic uh, Healer's Advice for Incoming Energies. And guys, it's not overall bad, but it is going to help fine-tune your intuition and how you see other people. And you might even learn a, a new lesson or two that you weren't expecting to learn because something may come to light that has to do with someone that you go, wow, I didn't know that about them. So, all right, guys, this is your message for this week. If you like this these readings please like subscribe and share if you know someone that can use this information or you think that they're a healer and you think that when you look around you go wow that kind of describes somebody i know pass this on to them maybe there's something here they need to know so use your discernment all right guys until next saturday of course i will be posting other little videos during the week and um do y'all not like y'all's candle i did this candle just for y'all and um just for us for us healers and I even pulled out some of my rocks. And I have some more rocks. And I do plan on doing some rock stuff. So, but this is your reading, guys. And um, let me know in the comments if some of you, after at the end of this week, or if you have something coming up and you're like, oh, wow, that really resonates. And this won't resonate for everybody. But for those of you that it does, I would really love to read the comments to see, you know, what, what, what held true for you, what you felt you knew was coming, or what you knew what it was about. Um... And the angels would probably like to know, too, because we all have our own private. We have all have our own angels. All right, guys. Lana Scott, Lighthouse.